Hey everybody! I'm sitting here waiting for my son to come out. As you guys know, he still doesn't have a car after the uh, car accident he had in December. The insurance company is taking forever. I don't know what the holdup is. They like um, giving me the run around, giving him the run around. Anyway, I'm sitting outside waiting for him to come out of the bank. Today is his off day. I guess he has some banking business to take care of. But it's a beautiful sunny day. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Look at that sky. Oh my goodness. We're sitting here in Oak Lawn, Illinois. And uh, I was supposed to go and do something for myself today, but this is his um, off day, and he has banking business to take care of. So, what I what I wanted to do, it can wait. And so, you know, I'll wait and do my stuff tomorrow. But anyway, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I hear it snowed in Minnesota where my sister lives. Well. All three of my sisters and nieces and nephews, they got like seven inches of snow. It rained here last night, and today it's pretty windy, but with that sun shining, it's glorious. Oh, I am just truly loving it. Um, and last night, me and the girls, we had our Valentine's Day dinner. We had steak, baked potatoes, salad. I brought them some... Um, some chocolates and uh, balloons and so we enjoyed ourselves and um, I received two gifts today and it feels so good it feels so good to be thought of makes me feel special a friend of well he's a friend online friend in a group that I'm in and he makes these um, rocking chairs out of clothes pins and I, I, I love them so much, you know, and I expressed how much I loved them and how, you know, uh, unique they were. And he sent me two of them. He actually made two of them for me, and he sent them to me. And, I, I mean, he lives in Florida. So I'm so grateful for that, you know, of him thinking about me. And then my neighbor called today. And she actually gave me a candle uh, in December for being the best neighbor. And um, she called me today and she asked me if I wanted to go see Boys to Men with her in June at the Hard Rock Cafe Casino. And she's going to pay for the tickets and everything. So I'm like, wow, thank you, Lord. You know, it just lets me know that I'm doing something right that I treat people with the compassion, the kindness, and the love that, you know, I want in return, and I receive it in return. That's all God wants for us, to just treat people right. Treat people with kindness, compassion, understanding, patience, because you never know what somebody is going through, you know, and it, it doesn't cost you a thing. And you will get rewarded. You will get rewarded. Now, um, I decided to check on my FEMA appeal today, you know, after the flood that we had in Illinois in September. And they denied my claim. They denied my claim. So they actually called me and told me to file an appeal. So I filed this appeal, right? So I'm deciding, okay, that was uh, like a month ago. I haven't heard anything. So I called them. They told me they denied my appeal. It's unbelievable. I showed them pictures of all the water, that disgusting sewer water that was in my basement. It had never flooded like that. And, you know, it, it is remarkable that, you know, these people could deny my claim. I had to spend so much money in cleaning my basement, you know, uh, throwing things out, trash hauls. I mean, but it's okay. It's okay because God provides. You know, I'll be all right. We're going to be okay. You know, you have to live, look at life in a positive uh, way no matter what. Like I was telling uh, Kent today, honey, it's going to stop raining. 
It, the, the rain that you're going through in your life right now, oh, it's going to stop raining. And the sun is going to shine again. Uh, you know, rainbows are going to come out. But then, you know, you're going to get clouds again. And it's going to rain again, such as life. But stay positive in the midst of it all. You know, give God the glory for waking you up and giving you another chance. There's nothing and nobody perfect in this world except God. So you don't have to be perfect. Trying to be perfect will exhaust you. I used to do it. I used to strive for perfection. And I was killing myself. So the only thing you have to do is just be kind, be compassionate, patient, understanding. Know that whatever storms you're going through will pass, because they will. Some will come again, but it's how you react to whatever you're going through, how you handle situations, you know, that's going to determine the outcome. You have to be okay with stuff not going your way sometimes, a lot of times, and you'll be okay. But anyway, I just wanted to say hi. I haven't uh, done a live or a video speaking with you, my darlings, for a long time. Uh, uh, I'm not computer savvy, but I did buy a computer, and I'm working on getting it together. So you just bear with me. Bear with me. I'm going to come on camera. I'm going to let y'all see me, my presence, and all of that. And let me just say... I thank you all for watching me. I thank you all for sharing my videos, liking them, and subscribing. You all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay, my darlings? Bye.